Hi, my name is Elizabeth something something and that's not important. What is important is that I watched Trixie Mattel's legendary, legendary makeup tutorial. How she does that whole thing, the Barbie um, 60s super, mm, you know, and <laughs> ever since then I've just been thinking like maybe I can also take my makeup to the next level, you know? And um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, first of all, I have to glue my brows down. She said to go in, in concentric circles. I don't even know if this glue is gonna dry. Probably, I mean properly. Excuse my enunciation. That's pretty nice. It's not bad. I've never seriously contoured before. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of firsts today. We've got to start doing the foundation. The foundation of the house that we built. Makeup is like building a house. You have a foundation. And um Who knows what it looks like up close, because I, I can't go up close right now because I'm filming. I don't know how people do this. I've never filmed a makeup tutorial before, if you couldn't tell. I, I usually have like a mirror up here, like as close as possible to my goddamn face. That's white. But it, it we can we can work with this. We can work. come on. Work it out. Work it out. No wait, that's oh yeah. <laughs> I was I was just thinking, oh that's a uh, RuPaul song. No, it's breaking bitch. We've got to come to work. Um not sponsored. She starts at right here. You can't fucking see that. Blending though. Oh my god, my brow is. Oh. Oh, that's good. Mm. If we know we want that really, really chiseled, look, I'm just gonna grab a fucking ruler. Like, anything straight will work. Mm. Oh, I know this is gonna look good. I haven't even seen it yet, but I know it's gonna look good. Oh, yeah! Yes, I am almost always watching makeup tutorials. A lot of the time I get, I, I you know, I see someone who's like putting on highlighter or something, completing the look with a, a good um, lipstick or something, and they go, oh, oh my god. And I was like, I don't get it. I don't, you, you're getting worked up over what here? A popping highlighter, really? But now I get it, I think. Make it look, look really soft and nice in the places where it needs to be soft and nice. If any of you, any fucking Dan and Phil fan comments soft and neat on any of my videos, which I think is unlikely. I've noticed a trend that there's a lot of those Dan and Phil fans that go around on other videos, like any video, and they just comment soft and neat in differently capitalized letters, and I, I hate it. And I'm sorry if you're one of those people but we're not gonna be friends. This nose is getting so lost right now. I have to do something. And the most, the best thing about this uh, brush set is that you get, you get a nose contour brush. It's, I don't, it's, this, this makes me happy. I don't know why, but I'm not gonna really use it to go down like this. I'm just gonna, also it's really hard to get my nose to look straight. So we'll just say that I I was like Owen Wilson and I got in a football accident. Cheeks. Brows are feeling nice. Like this, this is nice. It feels like I'm wearing a 
prosthetic brow. I like that. Not as nicely cut straight like, you know, how India Farah did her cheeks. I mean, I'm saying did, like she did, she's not doing drag anymore or like she's irrelevant or like she's dead. But I mean, the way she did it on season three. Sick and tired of this weak ass contour. There are people out there who want their makeup to look as natural as possible? Can't relate. I'm getting tired of doing this whole thing, so yeah, we're just gonna have some excess glue over here. Don't mind. Fun part. You're gonna put some shit on your brows to set it and forget it. Oh, bad. Oh. <coughs> Looking good and feeling better. I'm not gonna get that intensity of the contour like Trixie has, cause, ugh, cause I don't have those powder contours. It's time to do the eyes, I think. <laughs> but as you can tell by my heart rate, um, I'm just a little bit scared. I'm just gonna try and sketch out an approximate I don't have a true gel liner, but I have this black lipstick from the costume store. How do I know that this is straight? Oh my god, who cares? This is not the Olympics of drag. This is the entrance exam to drag. As if it's not hard enough for me to do just a normal winged liner with my eye shape. I'm trying to go for this shit. Like, I think I'm some kind of pro or something. Find that crease. Oh my god, I forgot to bake! I have to put a serious layer of loose powder because you could get fallout. And do I want fallout? Hell no. Do I ever want to be a drag queen myself? I don't know. I don't think I can act. Like when, when I look at all the things that you have to go through to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, like I know that's different, but because not every drag queen in real life has to do all that shit. It's like looking at my own icon. She's here. And you know what? I'm gonna go in a little closer. I don't care. I want. I didn't want to do this on camera, but I'm gonna anyway, because I need to. It does not have to look amazing. I'm doing it a little faster, too. Ooh, saucy. Okay, so I'm not allowed to do makeup anymore, because this... Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this betrayal? What's not good about this white base is that it never dries. A lot of the time I don't get why people contour their foreheads. Sometimes it just makes it look like you have that brown halo. If that's what the look you're going for, just fucking go for it. Don't give a shit what I'm saying. Sorry if my camera angle is different now because I just had to empty my camera. Because insufficient space on card. Remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I don't care about wiping off my brushes. That's the punk way to do it. So many steps, goddamn. I mean, so many steps. How does she do it? God. I don't know what you call this brow shape, but it's probably related to this nose contour. I use cheap ass makeup, except for when I buy expensive stuff and get super disappointed. Anyway, you cannot use this white base for your, um, waterline, but I'm gonna do it anyway. The reason why you can do it is because I did it a couple of times and the product, it, it like, it sat itself on my contact and created the illusion of anime eyes. Like, you know those anime eyes where they're big and they have those reflections in them? That's what it looked like. 
so kind of amazing. Also would not try again. It didn't hurt, but it, it wasn't like a white spot right in my eye sight. You don't want to experience. And I think it's happening right now. I can, I can feel it happening. Don't be afraid. That's my only advice when it comes to makeup. Don't be afraid. It's gonna happen. It's gonna look great. My camera stops recording for no reason. Like, it just gets tired and it's like, bye. Anyway, so what, what are we missing here? Lashes. All right, all right, this is the fun part. Now, because I'm not Trixie Mattel, I am Tracy Martell, not trademarked. I'm not gonna wear six pairs of lashes. And then she puts on a pair of bottom lashes, like, you know, down there. Um, I have four pairs here, stacked together. Four pairs of really shitty lashes. And I'm just gonna go with it, because I'm goddamn Tracy Martell. I'm gonna take a break and cough a little bit, if that's okay. I hate the powder, God. They're on? Question mark? Oh. Mm. Mm, can you see that? It's not as big as her lashes. Also, I don't have blue eye contacts. I have these beautiful blue, baby blue eyes. So I don't have any bottom lashes either. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna paint on some bottom lashes. That's what Tracy Martell would have done. It looks great. Just don't get too close. Okay, what about some blush? Oh my god, that fell out. Ha! <laughs> oh my god. I've never had, like, the pants fall out on me. This is the oldest blush I own. I think it's 20 years old. Of course they fell out. The glue is all just gone. Tracy goes in with a lot of blush. We want to make her proud. I don't know if the whole look as it is, it's gonna make her proud. What the fuck do I know? And what the fuck do I care? Does she have time to watch fucking YouTube videos of me and nobody doing makeup? No, no she does. Oh my God, I'm like, I'm so close. I can smell the finish line. I wanna do my lips. And keeping with the theme of a knockoff Bobby doll, I'm just gonna take this fake Lime Crime because I don't wanna give Lime Crime my money. No lip liner, baby. Don't buy fake makeup but this is gonna be fine for this look because I'm gonna shower immediately after this. This is really pulling it together. Damn, Tracy. Here we go. Kind of a geometric lip. Did you hear that for the, for the people in the audience? A geometric lip. Not like the original Trixie Mattel trademark doll, but like the knockoff from Denmark. I would have finished off with a ton of setting spray like at least like 15 coats of setting spray. And oddly enough, I haven't seen any drag queens do setting spray. And I don't get that, because you're gonna wear your makeup like all night. How are you gonna do that without setting spray? But, finished look. <sighs> look at that detail though. John Waters, please hire me. But anyway, bye. Bye.